Hello Autodesk people. My name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I'm an engineering technical specialist based out of the Pacific Northwest and the video you're about to see is AutoCademy P 2010 Schedules Concepts Part 1 of 4. AutoCademy P 2010 has great scheduling functionality. In this video we're going to explore some of the features of this concept. We are also going to discuss how we work today in a traditional AutoCAD workflow to establish a comparison. Then I'll show you how you can utilize your company standard schedules in AutoCAD MEP. This is one of four videos on this subject and in subsequent videos you will learn the technical aspects of this entire concept. First let's lay out the ground rules. It's important to understand that schedules work on a three tier hierarchy. At the top is the object. Now the object is really intelligent because it understands everything about itself. Directly below that is the property set definition or PSD. PSDs allow users access to the information about that object. And at the bottom of the hierarchy is the schedule tags and schedule tables. These report the object's information graphically. Think of this as text that is always updated as the object changes. So what you're seeing on screen now is the schedule concept at work. The pumps you see are objects called multi-view parts. Directly below the pumps are schedule tags and off to the right, of course, is a company standard schedule table. What you don't see, however, is the property set definitions. If you select an object and look at the properties palette, you can view and modify the object information in the extended data tab. For instance, here I will manipulate the pump number manually for those three pumps since they're out of order. But there's even a faster way to change the pump numbers. By using the renumbering tool, I can renumber the pumps from 200 series to 100 series by dictating the property set and the property that I want to manipulate. Simply by selecting the order that I want them in, these pumps are automatically renumbered. And this is reflected instantly in the schedule tags and schedule tables, helping me to avoid manipulation manually. Tags and schedules can be very productive. For instance, they always want to report the information of the objects they are assigned to. So if you have a situation where you have multiple objects you want to schedule, you can have this be done automatically with your company standard schedule, saving you a lot of time because it keeps itself up to date by renumbering and automatically scheduling themselves. So then let's compare this to the traditional AutoCAD workflow by recreating the same example. Most users will accomplish this with blocks, blocks with attributes, and copy paste from Excel. I'll go through that now. First, we will need to insert our block for the pump. But when we do that, we will need to define the layer it belongs on. Then, we can insert the block for the tag. But again, when we do that, we have to manually manipulate the tag and place it on an appropriate layer as well. Once those are both in, we can copy paste our schedule from Microsoft Excel into our AutoCAD environment. According to the schedule, it lists three pumps. Now I'll copy the block for the pump and the tag down to the other equipment pads. But I'm not done yet. Now I have to manipulate manually the tag for the subsequent pumps. Finally, my drawing is up to date with the schedule. What I'm proposing here is that we are managing what I call disconnected information. AutoCAD MEP will help you relieve the management of that disconnected information. Now let's see the same example with AutoCAD MEP schedules. Here's the beautiful thing about this. AutoCAD MEP is not looking to replace your existing skill set, no. It's looking to enhance your skill set by maintaining as much of the natural workflow as possible. For instance, instead of inserting a block for your pump, we will insert a multi-view part from the catalog, much like finding your block on the network file system. Instead of inserting a block for your tag, you will now use one of the many predefined schedule tags in AutoCAD MEP or your very own company standard tag. You can define initial properties of that object, but when you duplicate the pumps, they eliminate having to manually edit the subsequent pumps. Also, you can insert the schedule that automatically lists the object's information that you have predefined in the property set definitions. This makes the job a whole lot more productive and less tedious to manage. If you ever doubt that you have the right objects selected, there are always ways to 
be specific about the object and what line item it re it's related to. By simply selecting the show and picking the line item, you can see graphically which one it's related to. Four things to remember about schedules. Schedules increase your productivity by eliminating the management of disconnected information. Create and use your own company standard schedules. You will work with it the same way you always have. You will insert equipment, insert tags, but now the schedules will automatically report the object's information. Schedules work on a three-tier hierarchy. First is objects, next is property set definitions, and finally schedule tags and schedule tables. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala, and the video you just saw is AutoCAD MEP 2010 Schedules Concepts Part 1 of 4.